So now I'm going to show you how to read an RSS feed from the web, which is basically reading something from the web, processing it and displaying it. So I'm going to show you how an RSS feed works first. Um, do I have it here? No, I have it here. Okay, so an RSS feed, for example, can be this, right? So if I click in here, I'll have all the news that I'm that, that come with that, that RSS feed, but this is no more than a five view source, this is no more than a lot of code. And this code goes like this. Sometimes there's in the line, there's the word the word title, and here's the title of that new story, right? And it ends with the same word title but with a forward slash. This is XML, this is a closing tag. This one without the forward slash is an opening tag. And then there's more stuff on the side, you know, you can read this. But each line has at least one title. Or, or, there are some lines that have a title, okay? And that's what you actually want to uh, capture here. So, we're going to create something that gets the source code, that looks at this line, looks at the position of this title. It replaces this string with nothing, and it gets a substring from here all the way to this position, which is right, the position right where the closing tag begins. Let's do this. So, in my JGrasp, I created a class RSS Reader here with a simple main method that all it does is just prints line the results of this function, read RSS. And this is the URL that I was just looking at. So, we have to code the read RSS function that returns a string because it's going to be printed and it receives a URL address. Okay? So the first thing that I have to do is I have to put here an object. Uh, for, well, first I import java.net and java.io. So like reading and writing input, we always have to specify what kind of input it's, is, it, is it going to be, where, where, is it going to, where am I going to get this from. In some case, cases it's a file. In this case it's an object called URL that comes with the java.net.star package, right? And then how am how am I gonna read it? And I will read it with a buffered reader. Buffer reader, new input stream reader, my my RSS URL from here, that open stream. This is basically the one line that you need to read these things. And always you always have to close it at the end. But we're gonna do stuff in the middle. So what we can do here is, for example, create a string that says source code equals nothing, and then just return that source code. And what we're going to do is, is we can have a while loop, right? We create another string line, and we'll have a while loop that says the line is going to be my input stream, right, which is my basically my web page, in that read read line, so we're going to be reading lines from the source code into this variable line that I created into the string. If that is null, when the, while that is not null, I'm going to keep reading lines. So basically, when I'm done reading the web page, this in that read line is going to return a null character, right? Is what that's saying. Now, what we're going to do inside of here is it's kind of complex, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to do the parser. We're going to find the opening title tag, get a substring from there to the end, and then from that big line we're going to look for the closing tag and just get a substring from the beginning to uh, the beginning of the string to the to the beginning of the closing tag. And we can do it like this. So if the line contains the word title, as we saw not everybody contained the word title, not every line contained the word title, but if my, if my line at this point contains the word title, then I'm going to create, I'm going to say the first position will be the index of the opening tag, and my last position will be the index, the beginning of the closing tag. Now, I find my first position, which is, but that's the beginning, and then I create a temporary string, which is going to be line, substring, first position, meaning give me the line from the opening tag all the way to the end. Then I'm going to replace the opening tag with a blank, and then what I will do is I will find the index, of the, the beginning of the closing tag, and then I will make a substring from the beginning of the temporary string that I have till the last position, and that's actually the title of my new story. Okay, and that's the, and then I'll append that to the source code, return the source code. Now this should work in theory. 
But the problem is that there are a couple of exceptions that I need to catch. All file manipulation requires some exception handling. And if you compile this, those exceptions are going to uh, come to light. But I'll just show you. Uh, so I'll wrap this around and try and catch. And I'll catch two exceptions. A malformed exception, which basically says, what if this URL here is not really a good URL at all? It's not a readable URL. And the other one is an IO exception. If anything else happening happened while reading the contents, and that's thrown by the buffer reader if something goes wrong. Okay. And that's basically, and then I will return null at the end, which basically says, if everything went well, so if the whole try block succeeded, then I'll return the source code. If this does not succeed, then I will just return null. Okay? And that should actually get me the contents of this web page, then parse through here and just display the, um, just display the headlines of this RSS feed. So let's we'll compile it, we run it, and it's going to the internet probably, and at some point it's going to return with all the headlines. There it is. All of today's headlines, right? So uh, here, what does it start? Here. Not in Yahoo something, Air Ride, Opinion, Sierra Leone in cast their ballots, etc. etc. We can go to the web page and see that this is the code. Netanyahu, air ride, opinion, uh, so on and so forth. Syrian petition is the Sierra Leone one, right? So it's the same content. We've just gone to the internet, got some source code for a web page. In this case, it was in the format of RSS. We've processed this, and we've returned something, the process result of it. So this is how you go to the internet, read stuff, and I hope you enjoyed it.